Mike DeMergis, and welcome to the Monday Night Victory Projector Spotlight with the King Scott Angle and Scott. Week 15, Monday Night Football, the Jets and the Tennessee Titans. It couldn't be any worse. It could be. It could be uh, maybe the Jets and the Chiefs, but mm -hmm. it, it's pretty bad. But still, uh, you know, Monday night, a lot of people want to know if they're going to win tonight. And, you know, that's why they come to the Monday Night Victory Projector and they watch the spotlight. And also, we have a contest every week, mm -hmm. okay? If you can predict correctly tonight the receiving yardage and number of catches for Kenny Britt tonight, you can win some free expert points on rotoexperts.com for email advice. First up, though, the uh, Jets defense has been uh, playing better, but do you expect Chris Johnson to bust out? I think Chris Johnson can bust out at any time. The Jets overall haven't been playing out uh, very good run defense the whole year. The thing with Chris Johnson is, you know, there's some issues on the offensive line there, but he's still very explosive. There was a minor concern about an ankle injury, but he should be okay. And against a team like the Jets, you know, you know because you watch the NFL, a running back could go bam one yard, bam two yards, bam one yard, bam two yards, and then come back to the huddle and say, okay, I see something there. Yeah. I see a crease and they could run that same play, and Chris Johnson could be gone. So if you started Chris Johnson this week, it's boom or bust tonight. But, you know, some people say, you know, that, uh, that, that sometimes, you know, I see things in my mind, and they happen, and I see a big touchdown. You know, just call it being clairvoyant. I've been told that, that Chris Johnson's going to break off a long touchdown I'm gonna run send this on tape. Monday Night Football. I'm going to send this tape to Rex Ryan and see what he thinks about it. All right. Well, what's well, going? I'm not showing him my feet, though. <laughs> what's going? What, what do you think? What is, what's going on in your mind? Do you think uh, Kenny Britt's going to play against uh, Antonio Camardi? Uh, do I think how, how he's going to play against yes. Antonio Camardi? Uh, you know, don't be nervous, Mike. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm very know nervous. I know this might be one of the last shows, but uh, yeah. for this season. But don't be nervous. Are we being canceled yeah. or something? What? Are yeah. we being canceled? I think Lou Mayon is pulling the plug. The ratings are in the toilet, huh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Le toilet. Uh, oh, but. But Kenny Britt going up against Antonio Cromartie. Britt had his best game of the season last year, but he still admits his knee is not 100%. I do believe it looks like he's kind of rounding into form. But going against Cromartie is a tough matchup. If you use him tonight, you'll see that my, my uh, right below that my projections for him aren't outstanding. But uh, if you start him with a wide receiver three tonight, good luck, you know, because you want to get to your fantasy Super Bowl. Now we talked about uh, Chris Johnson. What do you expect from uh, the Jets running backs, Powell and Green? Well, the Powell coming out that it has that fractured toe. Hopefully, you didn't use him at flex this week. Uh, you know, Tennessee doesn't have the best defense. You know, they tackle like a bunch of slippery fish for mm -hmm. most of the year. So Sean Green can have a decent game tonight if you're depending on Sean Green. You could get you know a decent amount of yardage and touchdown as you as you see in this article. And like we said earlier, the Jets defense is playing better, but the Tennessee defense they're going against the Jets offense. So which one would you go with? I can't, a lot of people are talking about wanting to use the Tennessee defense this week in fantasy. And in fantasy, it's not all about the matchup. It's about the quality of the unit. In a playoff fantasy week, you cannot use the Tennessee defense no matter what the opponent is. On NFL.com, they're the 23rd overall ranked fantasy defense. You can't use them. Now, as for the Jets, you know, the Jets against Jake Locker, that could be a little bit of a turnover fest mm -hmm. there. So, uh, you know, I like the Jets as a top five fantasy defense this week. And in some strange way, the Jets are still trying to fight for that playoff spot as well. So yeah, well, you know, it's... Uh, that's about as remote as They're Mars. not mathematically eliminated. No, but, yeah. you know, it's kind of just out there. I don't expect to see Jeremy Curley and Braylon Edwards in a playoff game, though. Then again, you never expect to see our producer, Steve Coltsell, running in the middle of the MetLife Stadium, though, right? You'd really? never expect that I to happen, I want to see right? that, yeah. No, that's, that's some good yeah. footage. Yeah. He's Scott Engel. I'm Mike Demerges for the Monday Night Victory Projector Spotlight.